Hey guys, it's Himla here. This would be reacting to Mustard's album, but like, I've heard almost every song on there. Apart from Il Gito and Weird Day. And I know the Weird Day came out a while ago and you guys wanted me to react to it, but I told you that I wanted to react to it when all of her album came out because I kind of wanted to like, see it. Uh, I mean, yeah. Duh. So yeah, we only have those two songs to react to anyway. Let's go. Il Gito. I love how confident she's got in her singing. Okay. Why are you so lazy? <laughs> Me. I'm so happy with her voice. I love her so much. I love her so much. Well done! Looking at the eating show. Wait, she's been up all night looking at the eating show. Me? That's what I do. with herself. I'm so proud of her. I love her so much. She's just getting more and more confident and I'm like, I'm so proud. I'm so happy. I love her. I love her so much. I didn't think I could love someone like this much. Hey! The tune in the background. Like, hey! I'm so into her voice. Remember when people were calling her untalented? I'm gonna beat them to this music. <laughs> I love her, I love her, I love her so much. This is why I don't listen to albums as much is because I have to like read the lyrics and there's nothing for me to like look at and fangirl about apart from the voice but I really like to listen to the voice so like it's kind of hard you know. But anyway, Weird Day featuring Punch. I do know that everyone was like hyping about Punch at all saying how beautiful her voice is and how much it um, fits with Mustard so like I'm really excited to hear this. And for once, I'm not jealous. Why? I would be. But like, we're already married. That's such an airy voice, wow. With unusually bright moon. Moon! Knock, knock. Ah! Hey, hey, hey. 
So it seems like she's leaving Punch to do a lot of the singing in this. So we got a rapper the old bag. Mmm. Such a chill song. So fast, so cool. She has such a nice, like, what's it called? Iron bit. Nice chill voice. And they do fit really well together. I see what you mean. Like when they have little harmonies, it sounds really good. I thought you were leaving the singing to punch. I guess not. You gon' hit me with that. Do you see me just have a moment of surprise? I'm not like... shock me. Because the moon is so bright. Yes, she is. Hee <laughs> hee. I just like either purred or growled. I don't know which one that was, but it came out just at the end. Then when I went, oh, it went, oh, mmm, wow. Oh goodness, didn't realise I've got goosebumps going on. Okay, well, 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 shows what I thought about that song. Gave me goosebumps. I really like that. The two songs that I just listened to are so chill. And then like Snow is also chill. And no, mmm, nah. Mm. No, yeah, mirror is as well. <laughs> having a little crisis with myself then, cause I was singing it in my head. <laughs> in the mirror. Um, yeah, so it's weird because like all of the songs on this album are so chill and relaxing, and like you just want to sit there and listen to them. And as much as like Eclipse is the best song out of, I think this album to be the title. Imagine like hearing the title and being like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get into all these rock songs and then like you, you start listening, you're like, oh, it's pretty chill. I think this album is purely just like a, for everyone to appreciate Bjorn's vocals. Eclipse's performance showed her amazing dance skills, but this album as a whole just completely shows her vocal skills and they are amazing. People don't seem to realize that she trained as a singer. And then they were like, oh, you should be a rapper. And she's like, oh, okay. So I am really glad that finally we get to hear Singa Bjorn and that she's able to show everyone that she's just multi-talented. She's good at everything, okay? And she's hot. That, that helps. It helps, okay? It does. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe, give me a big thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!